there's just a giving sense in this community and uh, the kids um, learn it from their parents and learn it from our teachers and uh, just a great group of kids and they just want to give back as much as they can. There are some families in Merton that are, that are definitely in need. It's amazing in a community like this, it feels like there shouldn't be any problem with hunger. It feels like everybody should have enough. It's community and it's all about getting people to work together to do big things. So we're starting out a Katie's Crops Garden today. I'm Ted Caldwell and through Katie's Crops I got an email saying we have an opportunity to start a new garden and I thought, hey, it's important for everyone to do what they can. Troy Built has come in and tilled up the soil and we're going to be planting and putting in an irrigation system. So do you guys want to assemble yourselves into rows, to stand by a row? Ted is uh, very focused. He's very driven to do uh, what he can for the community. There you go. I started with giant pumpkins when I was about five. When I grew a 525 pound pumpkin, I decided it was time that I could do more. I got that side all done. It actually inspired me to help out because it was such a great, great cause, and it's nice just to give back every once in a while. Something that we're really passionate about at Troy Belt is fostering a love of gardening from such a young age, and it's great to see Ted out here in the community with these kids planting and growing a community garden that helps not only the kids learn about gardening, but also to help feed people in the community and make a difference. Right now it's just grass. Yeah. Um, mulch might be nice. I find that the kids are really responsive to watching their own food growing. And when they gather the harvest, um, there's nothing like giving it to someone or receiving it. If everyone does what they can, this world can be a better place.